All right, so a quick note about the map that we're going to play tonight called Run is that when I first downloaded it, uh, it did not work at all. It would just keep crashing, and I was really confused because, you know, that hasn't really happened with me before. Uh, I almost gave up, and then out of, like, just sheer, like, you know, on a whim, I decided to rename it to Run 111111 at first, and it worked. Uh, yeah, just renaming it made it work. So, yeah, if you download this map, I don't know if on the latest version of Team Fortress Classic it got borked or something, but, yeah, you have to rename it. Or maybe that's just with the bots. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm an idiot. I don't know. So, yeah, this is Run, R-U-N. Um, this is a custom map, and this is also a map that uh, the Wow Factor pointed out in their comment li on uh, one of my videos. Um, I have not played this before. I have briefly checked it out beforehand uh, just, like, a few minutes ago to see how it works. And it's interesting, I'll say that much. I don't know if I like it, because I haven't played it, but we'll see. So this is, yeah, RUN by Taser. Get the yellow flag from the generator room and take it to the loading dock behind the wow house. The green flag will not be available. Take it back to, back to the, the generator. And yeah, you score for one for each point. You get five points for the if you're the one who had the flag. And the arrows, yeah. Indicates it. So this is not a traditional capture the flag map by any means. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, it seems to be, from what I understand, from what I played, you spawn in a random part of the map, and there are two flags actually. I'll show off what I mean by that. So here's the yellow flag. Now, if you grab this, there is no base for you to take it back. What you have to do is take it to the other side of the map, uh, which there are several ways to go. This is a pretty, um open map. You gotta go... And that was something he brought up in the, um, little, uh, description there, is that there's these signs helpfully put out throughout the map. And they're interactive, so this X wouldn't be here if I didn't have the flag. And it tells you where to go. So I have to go to the capture point, where the green flag is. And there are, like I said, there's multi- it's an open map, so there's multiple ways to go about doing so. But anyway, regardless, once you get there, you'll see this thing. And then give it a few seconds. It does take a little while. Actually, it did. Yeah, see, now I didn't even realize it's pointing to the flag here, the green flag. And now I grabbed it. Now I have to, like, now the idea is to get it to the yellow spot. And I'll show you a different way to do it. But yeah, overall, the map's got some nice atmosphere to it. Um, it looks decent. Um, the only really interesting one I'll show you is right here. You can use this... Uh, little um, valve here to open or close this right here so that's a nice little like interesting thing and before I dock the point there are two um, re um, restock areas in the map I actually don't know if they're exclusive to a team or not I wouldn't imagine they are but yeah it's a very interesting take on this game's capture the flag mechanics um, I again I'm not praising it just yet because I haven't ever played it so maybe I'll hate it I don't know Anyway, so yeah, now that I've captured the green, the, uh, green flag, the yellow one is going to open up, and you rinse and repeat. And yeah, that's how this map works. Up in this little office area here, you got another resupply. Don't forget that. Um, also, note, you can climb this for a good little sniper engineer teleporter spot, although it's kind of trash! I like seeing the bottom of the skybox! And this is like the the central area, and you, you can see what I mean. There's a lot of different ways to go. For and that's for better and for worse, because first time playing this, I was really lost. And that doesn't usually happen in a map like this, but you know. Oh, I guess there's actually Oh, uh, this one too. Which is just a box that's broken. Yep. coordinated so you know I would have still tried to have some way to have team spawns um, like at least the messages are helpful by telling you where to go with first time playing or like you know what team has what 
But, you know, I can't help but feel like, you know, there needed to be a bit more direction here. Like, you know, maybe make it somewhat symmetrical. Like, have, like, you know, the player two team spawns in the center. And then, like, you know, have, like, equal ways, like, you know, equally, um, equal opportunity to get to the, um, like, you know, different flag areas for each team. This kind of, like, random spawning thing is just a little bit hard to figure out. Also, see, the thing is, too, I don't know where the hell my flag is. Which is not a problem exclusive to this map, mind you. But, you know, it's still a little bit exasperated here. Because, you know, it's such a open map and there's no clear indicator of, like, you know, where my team members are at. Well, at least the message brings that up, but, you know... It didn't even tell me that the flag got dropped at all. Like, you know, there could have been a message for when the, like, the flag drops. Like, you know, hey, yeah, it's the flag has dropped. Go is currently neutral or, like, you know, sitting. But no, it was just kind of like, you know, it must have dropped it's sitting there and now it got returned to the uh, spawn point. Uh, that's assuming, though, that it doesn't just immediately return to the, uh, like, a spawn area the second you die. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention there. Let me get out of here. And uh, this collision's a little wonky there. Like, not terrible. I like the idea in theory. It's, a, it's something different. But it's kind of coming off as kind of unrefined and, like, you know, the full potential of this idea isn't really being tapped in this map so far. and load not just in this game because obviously it's not exclusive to like every map in this game but you know whenever i see the message lock and load appear i can't help but think of that one weasel from conquer's bad fur day if you've ever played that there's a multiplayer mode where you like you play as weasels and you have to rob a bank and like if you pick up one of the weapons i can't remember which one he goes like lock and load something like that it's just always stuck in my mind it has nothing to do with this mind you but you know i'm an ass so You know, I don't know if I would have called it run, to be completely honest. Like, I get why it's being called that, because, you know, it's a very back and forth, like, crazy map that was the intent. But I would have called it, like, hmm. You know, Frenzy. Remember the Frenzy in Half-Life? I'd almost call this Frenzy, because that's what kids kind of reminds me of. You have two flags, like, you know, that we're taking advantage of. We keep going back and forth. We spawn somewhat randomly there's a lot of just like insanity i would have called this frenzy completely honest mini craze i would say flag run but i think that's actually a map already i can't remember off the top of my head yeah that's flag run that's a map in this game i can't believe i forgot about that good map i remember And yeah, as you saw there, it's instantaneous. The moment I die... Oh, okay, alright. So I'll take that back. That's one point that I'll, I'll rectify that. The moment I die, I we seem to drop the flag and it returns. Um, that's better than it just being it's like sitting in the middle of nowhere and no one can find it for a few seconds. So, uh, yeah, this is the that's definitely the better option here. I guess if, like, you really wanted to, like, you know, improve that, you'd have some sort of way for the map to, like, to have multiple messages, and it's, like, able to know where the, like, the flag was dropped. 
you know, I, I feel like I said it was random, like the spawning, but it seems at times it does try to put the teams together. So maybe it's semi-random. I, I have no idea. But yeah, anyway, it'd be cool if there was some way to have like a script in the map. Like say, flag has been dropped in like warehouse. Flag has been dropped in like sewers or something like that. And I think that'd be possible. I haven't ever done that kind of like heavy scripting with entities and messages in the gold source engine before, so I don't know. But you know, it seems possible. Also, these freaking snipers have aimbots, man. I swear to God. Like, the bots don't have the same enthusiasm for this map gathering, or I mean, this flag gathering as I seem to. Also, did this numbnuts kill himself? What a dummy. It's probably a good thing, too, that the flags aren't immediately available, like, to pick up, because, you know, you would just, like, have one person that's good enough and, like, knows what they're doing, just, like, immediately... Like going, like by the time people figure out what's going on, they would already be halfway across the map with the neck, like the, the like the next flag. It'd be total insanity. I really, really do want to say that these, this makes this map playable. More than playable. If th this weren't here, this would be such a mess. The, like, new time players would be just so lost. So, credit where credit's due. My feelings on this map are still a little bit, um, mixed, but it's starting to lean towards overall positive. Like, it's not the worst map. It is a unique concept. I just think that, you know, it's a little rough around the edges here. It'd be nice to see if, like, other people have, uh, attempted this kind of idea before. Or, or since, even. This did come out in 1999, by judging by the BSB, uh, BSP, uh, file date, so... I'm gonna assume it's, like, you know... May 1999, mind you, so this is only a few months after this game came out, so, you know... Credit where credit's due, like, you know, there, people are still probably experimenting at this point. Hopefully he dies at some point. No, oh, wait, hold on. I think he figured it out. Or did he? I, I'm so confused. You know, engineers, why aren't you building anything? Again, that's not the, I'm not putting the blame for that on the map, because clearly that's a ba ba issue with Foxbot. It is just annoying, though. You think that, like, you know, they can figure that out. Oh, well. Guess I'm expecting too much. Which lends to another problem, so now we have a negative. Someone who feels like being an absolute mean mean could just like find a place to hide and just grift by holding onto the flag and there'd be like no way for the map to continue. 
you could argue that people would just end up playing the map as like a deathmatch kind of map anyway. Which, you know, I guess would be fine, but you know, it kind of defeats all the purpose of even having a flag in the first place. What if they just evaporated into thin air? Where is this thing? I've been all over the map and I can't find a, like him, that heavy weapons guy. Maybe he went to Arby's or something, I don't know. Oh, well that only took a billion years. Come on, I'm not letting the- Do not let those bots grab that, because they are just gonna like fiddle around with sticks and then try to play a banjo with drums, that's just not how you do things. Oh god, no! Okay good, it's a spy, maybe I have more hope here. Actually, no, I'm just gonna let them die. Yeah, I had a- I just had an inkling. That, you know, they, they just wouldn't, like, have the, you know, means to, to fulfill the job. Though I will say this, another positive, I do like, even if it is somewhat confusing, having multiple pathways is very, very much necessary for this kind of map. If this is all linear, you would just have, like, you know, the other team building, like, 20... Actually, you'd have both teams build, have, like, 30 engineers just build sentries, and that'd be it. Also, I'm noticing a lot, awful lot of bots with very low health. You know, usually they're pretty, pretty good at like, you know, you know, yelling and like, you know, using the medic command. I don't know, they just, they really can't seem to figure this map out too well. <laughs> So we'll just end on that note. This is a uh, run, uh, kind of mixed bag, but overall, um, not bad. If you know, if you wanted to play something unique, I'd say try this one out. Just tape your expectations, is all.